Hi, in this video we will study cyclic redundancy check or CRC. So first we will study the structure of encoder and decoder in CRC and then we will solve examples on how to detect errors using CRC. So in this video we will study how this CRC or cyclic redundancy check is used for error detection. Also this method is a widely used method because it can detect single as well as burst errors. Burst errors meaning more than one bit error. So over here first the message will be divided into data word and each data word is of k bits. So data word is a part of the original message. Then to each data word redundant bits will be added at the end which will result in a code word. So code word will be the data word plus the redundant bits. So we can say it will be n equal to k plus r where n is the number of bits in code word, k is the number of bits in data word and r is the redundant bits. So then this code word will be sent over the transmission medium. Now this redundant bits or some extra bits are added by the sender which will help the receiver to detect and correct the errors. So next let us see the structure of CRC encoder and decoder. So over here at the sender side we have the encoder and at the receiver side we have the decoder. So over here we perform division. So as a result we will have a divisor which will be predefined and the same divisor will be used at the sender side as well as at the receiver side. So first the data word which is of k bits is appended with d minus 1 bits of zeros where d is the divisor. So over here in this figure the data word will be appended with d minus 1 bits of zeros where d is the divisor. So suppose divisor is a 4 bit then the data word will be appended with 4 minus 1 that is 3 zeros and appending meaning we add at the end. So after appending we will get a augmented data word. Augmented meaning the size of the data word will increase. So the augmented data word will be passed to the generator. So the generator will divide the augmented data word by the divisor. So the remainder of the division is the redundant bits which will be added at the end of the data word which will result in a code word. So the remainder of this division that is augmented data word by divisor will be the redundant bits which will be added to create the code word. Also the number of redundant bits or the number of bits in the remainder will be d minus 1 where d is the divisor and which is same as the number of zeros that were appended. Say for example over here three zeros were appended as a result the number of redundant bits will also be three. So the code word which will be sent will be the original data word plus the remainder bits or the redundant bits. So over here the code word will be the original data word plus the remainder or the redundant bits and the redundant bits will be appended to this data word to create a code word. Say for example in this figure we have a 4 bit data word. So data word is of 4 bits and the divisor also is of 4 bits. So we will append 3 zeros to the data word because we need to append d minus 1 zeros. So d value is 4 so we will append 3 zeros. So 3 zeros will be appended in order to get the augmented data word. So then the augmented data word will be divided by the divisor to get the remainder. So the generator will divide the augmented data word by the divisor in order to get the remainder. And the number of bits in the remainder will be same as the zeros which were appended. So there were three zeros which were appended. So the number of bits in the remainder will also be three and which is same as D minus one. So redundant bits in this example will be three. So
so the code word will be original data word which was of 4 bits plus the remainder bits or the redundant bits that is 3 bits which will result in a 7 bit code word so then this code word will be sent over the transmission medium so the receiver receives the code word which may be either corrupted during transmission or it may not get corrupted so then the checker the receiver side will divide the received code word by the same divisor in order to get the remainder so the remainder over here is also called as the syndrome so the number of syndrome bits or the number of bits in the remainder will be d minus 1 where d is the divisor or we can say it will be same as the number of redundant bits which were added at the sender so for example over here there were 3 bits added so over here also the syndrome will have 3 bits so if all the bits in the syndrome or the remainder are 0 then the data word will be accepted so over here if all these bits are 0 then the decision logic will accept the data word but if all the bits are not 0 then the entire code word will be discarded so over here in this figure the code word is of 7 bits which will be passed to the checker then the checker will divide the received code word by the divisor to generate a syndrome which is the remainder so over here the syndrome has 3 bits so if all the bits have a value 0 then the decision logic will accept the data word if not that is if the bit all 3 bits are not 0 then it will discard the code word so let us consider an example so over here we are given the data word that is 1001 and we are given the divisor now the divisor in this case is given in polynomial form so first we will have to convert it into binary form so in order to convert to binary we need to find the coefficients so the coefficients of x raised to 3 term is 1 so the coefficient is 1 over here then over here there is no x square term so the coefficient will be 0 so over here for the x square term the coefficient is 0 then the coefficient for x raised to 1 is 1 so over here the coefficient is 1 and the coefficient for x raised to 0 term is 1 again because this value is 1 so we need to just find the coefficient so the divisor will be 1 0 1 1 also if the data word is given in the form of a polynomial we need to first convert it to binary but over here the data word is directly given in binary so we need not convert it so the first step is to append d minus 1 zeros to the data word where d is the divisor now over here in this example the number of bits in the divisor is 4 so we need to append 4 minus 1 that is 3 zeros needs to be appended to the data word so after appending 3 zeros we will get the augmented data word as 1001000 this 0001 is the original data word and we have appended 3 zeros so next we need to divide the augmented data word by the divisor in order to get the remainder so over here this is the augmented data word and this is the divisor so in order to perform the binary division we will use XOR operation that is when the bits are same that is when it is 0 0 or 1 1 the output will be 0 but if the bits are different that is if it is 0 1 or 1 0 the output will be 1 so over here we are just concerned with finding the remainder so we won't write the quotient so first we will get 1 0 1 1 then we need to perform XOR operation so 1 XOR 1 is 0 0 XOR 1 is 1 0 XOR 0 is 0 and 1 XOR 1 is 0 that is when the bits are same the answer is 0 but when it is different the answer will be 1 next we need to start from the leading one that is from this bit 
now if we start from the leading one we can see that there are only two bits over here but the divisor is of four bits as a result we will have to get two more bits that is this bit and this bit so after getting these two bits down we will get one zero 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 and again we need to perform xor operation with the divisor so after performing xor operation we will get zero xor one is one then 0 xor 1 is 1, then 0 xor 0 is 0, and 1 xor 1 is 0. So we will get 0 0 1 1, and we will start from the leading one that is from this bit. But over here there are only two bits, so we will get this bit down. So even if we get this bit down, we can see that there are only three bits if we start from the leading one that is one one zero but the divisor is of four bits as a result we will have to stop our division over here so the number of bits we need to consider in the remainder is same as the number of zeros which were appended so the number of zeros which were appended is three so we have to consider three remainder bits and we will always start from this side that is from the least significant bit so we will consider these three bits as the remainder so this remainder bits are also the redundant bits which will be added to the data word in order to get the code word so the code word sent will be the original data word plus the remainder or the redundant bits and this redundant bits are appended to the original data word so over here the data word is 1001 so it will be 1001 and the redundant bits which we have calculated is 110 so this bits 110 will be appended to this data word in order to get the code word so this code word will be sent over the transmission medium so once the code word is sent over the transmission medium the receiver will receive the code word and the checker at the receiver side will divide the received code word by the same divisor in order to get the remainder which is also known as the syndrome. So if in the remainder or in the syndrome all the bits are zero then it means that there is no error and the data word will be accepted. Now say suppose the code word sent is same as the code word received that is no bits have changed during transmission so this part is the data word and these are the redundant bits which we had added at the sender side so first we have to divide the received code word by the divisor so we will divide the received code word that is 1101110 by the same divisor and division will be in the same way as we had done at the sender side so we start from a bit 1 so first we will get 1011 so after we XOR this we will get 1 XOR 1 as 0 then 0 XOR 1 as 1 then 0 XOR 0 as 0 and 1 XOR 1 as 0 so we will get 0 0 1 0 but we need to start from this leading one so over here we can see that we have only two bits that is 1 and 0 but the divisor is of 4 bits so as a result we will have to get these two bits down so once we get these two bits we will get 1011 and again we need to perform XOR operation with the divisor so after performing XOR operation we will get 1 XOR 1 is 0 then 1 XOR 1 is 0 0 XOR 0 is 0 and 1 XOR 1 is 0 so we can see that there are no ones over here so we'll get the next bit down the next bit is again a zero so there is no one bit over here so as a result we will have to stop the division so the number of remainder bits which we need to consider is same as the number of redundant bits which were added at the sender side so at the sender side three redundant bits were added which is same as d minus 1 so we will consider three remainder bits that is we will start from this side 
that is from the least significant bit. So we will consider this three bits. So the remainder at the receiver side is also known as a syndrome. And if the syndrome have all bits as zero, then it means that there is no error. That is over here the syndrome is of three bits and if all the three bits have a value zero then the receiver will assume that there is no error and it will accept the data word. That is over here the data word is the first four bits so it will accept the data word that is one zero zero one. So we can say that when the code word sent is same as the code word received the syndrome will have all bits as zero and the data word will be accepted. Next is suppose sender sends this code word and receiver receives this code word that is 1000110 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. that is we can see that one bit has changed during transmission. So over here there will be one bit error. So now let us see what is the syndrome value when there is an error in the received code word. So first we will divide the received code word by the divisor. So first we will get 1011. So we need to perform XOR operation. So 0 XOR 1 is 1, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 0 XOR 0 is 0 and 1 XOR 1 is 0. So we need to start from the leading one that is from this bit. But we can see that there are only two bits over here but the divisor is of four bits. As a result we will have to get two more bits down. So after getting these two bits we will get one 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 and again we need to perform XOR operation with the divisor that is one zero one one. So after performing XOR operation we will get zero one zero zero that is one XOR one is zero then one XOR one is zero. 1 XOR 0 is 1 and 1 XOR 1 is 0. So then next we need to start from this leading 1 and if we start from this leading 1 we can see that there are only 3 bits but in the divisor there are 4 bits. As a result we will have to get this next bit down. So after we get this bit down we will get 1 0 0 0 and again we need to perform XOR operation with the divisor. So after performing XOR operation we will get this value that is 0 XOR 1 is 1, 0 XOR 1 is 1, 0 XOR 0 is 0 and 1 XOR 1 is 0. So then next we will have to start from the leading one that is from this bit. But we can see that there are only two bits over here whereas the divisor has four bits. And there are no bits over here so we cannot even get any more bits down. So as a result we will have to stop the division. So the number of remainder bits which we need to consider is same as the number of redundant bits which were added at the sender side which is same as D minus 1. So over here 3 redundant bits were added. So as a result we will consider 3 bits in the remainder starting from this side. So we will consider these three bits that is 0, 1, 1. And we know that remainder is same as the syndrome at the receiver side. The syndrome value will be 0, 1, 1. So there is no error in the received code word only when all the bits in the syndrome are 0. But over here the syndrome value is 0, 1, 1 that is we can see that two bits have a value 1. So as a result the receiver will know that there is an error in the received code word and it will be discarded.